A rotten lot was Johnny Arkwright. He'd been bad since the age of ten. When read a story from Arabian Nights, he'd decided there and then that he didn't want to be a prince or a genie with baggy sleeves. No, from that point onward, all he wanted was to be one of the forty thieves. His first problem was recruiting the other thirty-nine. His school chimps were mostly dim and accident-prone, so he decided to be a success. Well, he'd just have to go it alone. He started by nicking his teacher's pen, then a Mars bar from a fat kid's lunch back, before graduating on to shoplifting gobstoppers, then car theft. There was no going back. By the time he was a teenager, he'd added con man to his CV. He'd conned the life savings from his grands next door. The old lad was near 93. He was totally lacking in conscience, his avarice beyond belief. He burgled the entire contents of an old folks' home, pension box, colostomy bags and false teeth. Now in his twenties, he was working his way through the rooms of a Victorian villa. He'd picked up some rings and gold sovereigns and a Franklin Lim Min limited edition statuette of Godzilla. With his swag bag full to busting, he was making good his escape when he spotted a lamp of eastern design, and had that too for nostalgia's sake. Most of the swag went to his usual fence. He got a good price for the loot. He was left with a lamp which, if polished up nice, could flog at his local car boot. So he got her out a rag and some brasso and buffed away while watching the bill. He rubbed and he rubbed till much to his surprise from the spout end smoke started to spill. At first he thought he'd imagined it, so he polished with vigour once more. Then with a flash and a stink of brimstone, a huge genie was stood on the floor. In a deep manly voice the genie intoned, What wish can I grant for thee? And gormless Johnny, with a sad lack of caution, looked shocked and exclaimed, Bugger me! Well, later he had the chance to reflect on his misdeeds at length. The genie was laying back, taking his ease and smoking a capstan full strength. From now on, he'll try to live a life of virtue. Be good as a rule of thumb, but as he's found to his cost, a life of crime can be a rape paying in the bum.